Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. You're looking at SQL Compare version 12. We're really excited about some of the new functionality that we have in SQL Compare in support of SQL Server 2016 and Azure SQL Database. Today, I want to show you some of the functionality in and around in-memory tables. So let's open up a project just to get started. I've got a project I've already set up that includes a comparison uh, between two databases on my server. Now you'll notice this is a new screen, it looks a little different, but the basic functionality is exactly the same. We're comparing between two databases on a server. In this case, the first database is the Worldwide Importers database, the new training and test database for SQL Server 2016 that replaces AdventureWorks, and the other is just a local database I have for testing in-memory functionality called in-memory test. Now there's no other additional things I'm going to have to do. I set up the basic compare between the two databases and hit compare and off it goes. There is no added steps, no added processes needed for comparing the in-memory databases. The results are done and it comes back and I've got a large number of objects here. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a filter. In this case, I've got nothing excluded. I'm going to exclude all. I'm just going to make tables and I happen to know after doing a little bit of research that the in-memory tables that I'm interested in both end with the word temperatures. So I'm going to go ahead and filter this down. And now you can see I've got two tables that are different. If we take a look and we click on, say, the cold room temperatures, and we can see the script down below, the T-SQL script, just like before, and you'll notice it is memory optimized equals on. I'm going to go ahead and deploy these two tables to my database. And I can deploy uh, using, I can have a create a deployment script just like normal, or I can just go ahead and let SQL Compare do the deployment, which is what I'm going to do. You'll notice the warning that SQL Compare is giving me here, and it's suggesting that I need to back up my database before I run because I'm running without a transaction. This is because I've disabled the transactions for this compare process because the DDL operations with in-memory tables don't allow you to run them within a transaction. I'm going to click Deploy now because I don't need to run a backup locally for this test, so it's not something I need to worry about. And so the deployment's complete, the changes are done, it's going to recompare those databases and come back up and you'll see that everything is identical now uh, between the two databases. I've got the same tables on both sides. And we can validate that by going over to, to SSMS and either we can hit a refresh here and see that I've got the warehouse cold room temperatures and the vehicle temperatures, or I can run a query against and see the results that there are three in-memory tables in there currently, memtest and those other two tables. So all of that worked just fine. Now what if we were to come back here and edit this project? And let's go, instead of in-memory tests, let's go against the test database. Now the test database is not set up to support in-memory tables currently. So we'll run the compare, and the results will come back, and the filter is going to show us that we're missing two tables, the cold room temperatures table and the vehicle temperatures table, and that's fine. We're going to select them both, and then we're going to hit deploy. That's going to, we're going to go ahead and do the same steps, deploy using SQL Compare. It runs, and it's going to say, hey, wait a minute, you're missing a dependency, which is the warehouse um, schema. That's fine. Let's go ahead and make sure we add that back in. Click Next, and that adds it in. But notice, it stops us. The reason it stopped us is that there is no memory optimized file group in this database. SQL Compare is fully in support of in-memory tables and in-memory structures and can validate that you are going to be able to deploy these things successfully. So we're not only making sure that we get those deployments across, we're making sure we get those deployments across correctly the first time. So you're not going to be dealing with failures, you're not going to be dealing with issues. And that's all you have to do to get SQL Server 2016 in-memory tables moving between your databases using SQL Compare version 12. Thanks for listening. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.